Hello, welcome pen friends. Uh, my name is Chris and I'm back with another little inky video. I thought I would uh, try the Nick Stewart technique one more time with the different ink, the Bunga Box Lamont that is our next ink in the series that we're doing. Um, we're, I'm doing profiles on the eight more inks that are viewers choice series and this is the next ink. So it's time for me to do this anyway, and I thought I'd just bring you along, and we'll just see what happens. There's a little aspect of it that I realized last night I was doing a little differently that might actually help uh, bring a different result or bring a, a little bit more control to what happens. And so um, I'm just going to try it out and see what happens. So I've got a, a paintbrush here, a number four paintbrush. I've got my Jin Hao 992 loaded up with the Bunga Box Lamont ink. And I've got a kind of a thick paintbrush with so I can put my water down onto the watercolor paper. I don't have really the recommended uh, paper that Nick Stewart recommends. I have the 140 pounds still, but that's okay. It, it still works, you know. It just uh, probably will work better once I get the more um, 200 pound pa uh, paper. So let's just get right started. I'm going to try to keep this short and just do two of them. One on one card and one on my uh, visual journal. So um, we'll do the top part, pretty much how we did last yesterday when I did it. Okay, I'm gonna put some ink on there. <clears throat> this is a very saturated ink. I can't wait to see what happens. <clears throat> uh huh. I put a little more on the brush this time. Oh my goodness! Okay, look at that go. Wow, that just that's going to do its own thing. I don't have to do a darn thing, huh? Maybe I'll put just a little more down here. Okay. Wow. That just, yeah. That that has a lot to say all by itself. Okay, so now down below, I'm going to try to, you know, leave the appropriate space. This is an area that I make a mess with, but I have a light that's giving me glare, which will help me see where that is. So I'm going to try to stay away from uh, the top part pretty darn good and leave a little bit of a space. Oh, okay, I, I hit it a little bit, but not much. So, then I'm going to do just what his instructions say. I'm going to come in and touch the newly wetted aspect of it. And if you've already gotten these instructions from the link from yesterday, you'll already probably have read this, but I'll link it again today for anybody. So, I'm just going to come in and, and uh, uh, you know, use my pen right where that... Huh! Now, that's interesting. Uh, I actually, in a way, like what happened over here better. Uh, and I don't remember if I've tried this before and it, and it didn't travel enough for me or what. But, oh, that's so pretty. That's really pretty up there. <laughs> we'll just have to see. I, you know, knowing me, I just would, I, I just don't stick to the rules, I guess. <laughs> I would probably just come back in and just see what happens. With my paintbrush, I would probably just like go completely nuts and see what what might occur. You never know. And then, of course, we still have our um, chance up up above to uh, dot in and do what whatever we want, huh? But the ones we were getting um, yesterday, it was it was like almost too much. So I thought, well, I wonder if I actually do the way it says to do it, what would happen? So this is what happened. <laughs> It's pretty anyway, I can tell. And that's going to dry. That's going to create a whole different scene when it dries, I'm sure. That actually looks like a purple tree to me without doing anything to it. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty wet right here, but let me see what happens. I want to see if I get any... Uh... Okay, I got this ink flowing and everything. Huh. Yeah, you can get stuff to happen. It's just pretty subtle in there in that little pink and lavender area. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah, I'm not getting, you know, because it's pretty wet in there. I probably should let it dry a little longer. <laughs> little birds, maybe, or something going on there. Wow. Wow. That is pretty. That that just I don't even know what to think of that. That's like a <laughs> gorgeous. I, it makes me wonder how it's going to dry though, because a lot of times 
a lot of the beauty is there and then it fades, you know, it dries into something else. <clears throat> okay, I actually like having more out front like that. So on the visual journal, let's try it. Let's let's try it, you know, without so much uh, worry about whether it hits the, uh, my large paintbrush, whether it hits or not. I don't really care. In fact, this is already messed up, so this will make me feel good because th this already has a blemish down in the corner here, so <laughs> if it's a total wipeout, it doesn't even matter. It's already, and my water's uh, kind of dirty too. Huh. I'm going to pause it and get some fresh water, though. There, I'm back. What I was starting to say was uh, I wanted to get fresh water because I didn't want it already tinted. I wanted to go ahead and actually see what happens when I add the ink to the uh, art journal here, the visual journal. So, okay, let's go for it. This ready? I'll get some on there. Maybe some over here. Huh. Sometimes I'm not sure where to go, but... God, that's pretty. Not quite as dark as the other one. <laughs> Oops. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, I like how that goes. Oh. That's just, but, you know, you couldn't come back and do it again and have it happen again like that because that's just what this is all about. It's just really... Really something. Okay. Let's see here. Let's do the bottom part. This time I won't worry. If I touch it and it uh, travels, then that's just fine by me. <clears throat> I can hear we're going to get a storm. Oh, boy. Just the slightest touching. See, because then it's not like a total takeover. I think that, I mean, I really... I really kind of like it that way, where it's just interesting and everything, but it's not a total takeover. And then you saw I didn't get anything hardly on this one when I just used the pen, but that's a different pen too. And it's beginning to dry. Definitely you can see, you know, a lot going on there. <clears throat> it's pretty. In fact, I may go in now. I may just uh, try to protect that green one. I may lay it here and see what happens. You know, it may not be too late to add a few highlights here because it is, yeah, it is a little dry now. But it's still kind of, uh, can take that ink and it makes little interesting outlines and so on. <laughs> wow, that's pretty. That, that's very interesting right there too. Oh, okay, it's dry there. <laughs> I'm going to start something and then... Not be quite sure what it is. Huh. It doesn't... Ooh, thunder. I bet you can hear that. I know we were expecting some severe weather. Okay, so maybe I'll leave this one alone before I totally ruin it. <laughs> and come. I'll come back over here. Oh, wow, that's pretty. And that's got some drying to do before it actually um, can be... Like, if I go in right now and do lines or anything, I, I'm not really doing too much because it's pretty wet. Oh, but that's so pretty all by itself. It really doesn't bother me. This this should show you, if you watched yesterday's video, too, and you're here today, how drastically different the inks are and what and how you, you, can, you can't get the same effect twice. You're just going to get... What you get now that to me looks like a shore almost and going further away. It's very interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna write the name of the ink here. And this is this ink is made in Japan, but we'll dive into it to where I can say a lot more about it in the review. I think I spelled it right. Yeah. Okay, so there's a couple more of those little <laughs> things, and, and it's addictive. It's lots of fun, and to me, it doesn't have to, you know, it doesn't matter what you do, you end up with something you like looking at, because they're just pretty. Um, so that'll be the next, well, one of the next videos <laughs> is the uh, 
is the review on, on or the ink profile I'm calling it on the Bunga Box Lamont and then our very last one in the viewers uh, choice two will be KWZ Green number five but let me tell you what happened today the ink flight box came in it has landed here in Texas so uh, <laughs> this is a little bit hard because I've got two more inks to profile and I want to get into this box but I'm telling myself Let's wait. Let's get, let's finish one thing first, you know. So who knows what's going to happen, whether I'll be able to or whether I'll have to interrupt this program to get in there and show you what's in there. So I'll let these dry, and when I do the review tomorrow or the profile, I'll let you see how they dried. Uh, I think it's going to be beautiful, wouldn't matter what I did, because it's, it's just beautiful ink, that's all. So I'll see you next time, and I'll try to keep this one short, about 10 minutes, so... Bye for now. Take care. <laughs>